Hey everybody, how are you? I am Roxanne with Pemberley Realty, broker owner of Pemberley. And I am super excited to bring you one of our amazing uh, agents and uh, you are going to love him and love to learn about him, about him. And hopefully you wanna work with him once you get to know him more. Well, welcome Juan. Hi, Roxanne. Thank you for having me. It's nice to have you. Okay, so uh, Juan, tell us uh, tell us a little bit about Juan. How long have you been uh, in business, and uh, and uh, what brought you into the real estate world? Well, I've been in business my whole my whole life since I was eighteen years old. I started always my own businesses, but um, real estate. Uh, it's not been too long. So, so you are a relatively a new agent. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. New in the business. New in the business. Yes. New in the business. New in the business. So tell us, tell us about, uh, other businesses that you have, you have started that, uh, that you've done in the past and how, um, and, and what brought you into the world of, of business and to decide that you're going to be an entrepreneur? Yeah, like, like, um, like you know, um, I talked to you about this uh, when we first started working. Uh, I started my business in Fresno, like, um, I don't know, over 25 years ago, uh, landscaping business. And then I moved into um, a different type of business, which was heavy equipment along with transportation and always, you know, trying to be the best at it. Okay. So, so from landscape and landscaping business to heavy, heavy equipment, and then from there to, to real estate. Right. Um, real estate, I think is, is the one, um, business that I love the most. Mm -hmm. Um, as of right now is my passion. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what I am right now. I'm a, a full-time real estate agent, a professional realtor servicing the whole San Diego County. So tell us more, tell us more about this. What gave you the idea to get into the real estate business? You know what? Um, it's funny because it started like with my son when he born um i needed um uh, a job that that was paying more of the one that i had at the time so i started like um finding out about real estate about lending and that was just the idea when he was born then he oh, right now he's, he's 10 years old right now and he said dad i think you're gonna be good um selling houses why don't you try doing that because of the pandemic, um, you know, everybody was like at home most of the time. Mm -hmm. I really didn't have the necessity of going out to the job sites or or outside my home. So I was I had the privilege of uh, staying up with, with my uh, family the whole time. And we were watching this series about, you know, th there was this guy uh, being a, a realtor. And he said, Dad, I think you're going to make a really good real estate agent. And you know, he just planted the seed. And uh, I was like on the computer finding out about uh, the courses and what I needed to be a, a real estate agent. And I just started right there. Um, that is amazing. Yeah, eight months later, um, I had my um, my exam. So I passed it in the first time and just talking to you about, you know. Yeah. And, and uh, then you... Uh... You came and uh, met with me, and uh, and the rest is history, right? The rest is history, yep. And you are now one of one of the top producers and one of the uh, one of the strongest uh, strongest agents that we have at Pemberley. So tell us how uh, how somebody with not a whole lot of experience comes into comes into the business and uh, and climbs up so quickly to 
uh, to be such a strong agent? What are the work ethics that you bring to the table that uh, that helps you achieve that? You know what? Um, I believe that I focus on the service. Um, I always focus on my clients' uh, best interest over my commission check. I believe I put that like as a second on on on, on the side because um, I know that if I provide them with, uh, an excellent service, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna be successful. Mm -hmm. And um, and where do you live? I was by Imperial Beach. Okay, okay. But I have noticed that you are servicing a lot of clients um, in the North County, uh, Escondido, uh, Vista, San Marcos, Oceanside. So, um, so are you bound by a geographic area when you're servicing your clients? Uh, or are you thinking about okay, you know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna service my clients in this area. Uh, but this area, I'm not, I'm not going to service. Um, uh, what's your mindset when you're uh, when you're thinking about servicing? Uh, what client you service and what area you cover? Yeah, um, when when I think about that, um, I, I think my mindset is I am a professional realtor. I do not specialize in one area or neighborhood only because I have the ability of doing business in all of San Diego. I'm capable of, and you know, that's what I do. So what, what brings you to the, have that mindset? You know what? Um, I think that I am, um, a person that doesn't have limits. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't say limits. I don't say I'm just going to do this for right now, or I'm going to do that you know, next month or whatever. I just, I just think that if you can do something, do it, you know, in the whole county, not just one area. So if you're servicing the whole county, how can you be the expert? Um, what do you to, what do you do to ensure that you are the expert in, uh, you know, when you're covering such a large area? When I cover a large area, I'm actually constantly, you know, going in, the, in into the uh, MLS, looking what is selling, and it doesn't tell you just one area only, it tells you areas in San Diego. Um, and I really, you know, I, I really study what's selling, how long in the market, what are the prices, and if if I if I am um, at the time working with a client and he's uh, requesting the information on on a property here and there, like an investor that I'm working with, uh, we're looking all over the place just to find out a property that makes sense for him. Mm -hmm. So that's how I gain you know experience on on all San Diego. That's that's how you gain knowledge about the the. Uh, the uh, properties that, that you're searching. I've noticed that, you, you know, some people think, oh, uh, you know, you've got to, you've got to think of a, um, uh, of a realtor that's local or, uh, you know, a, a realtor that knows this neighborhood or that neighborhood. But uh, just like everything else, where if you, if you're putting your mind to it and you're doing the research, uh, it's no different with houses and properties, right? You, you hone in on one area, you do the research in that area. You get to know all the properties that are either active or they're under contract or they've sold. And and uh, and once you study the market in that particular area, then you become the expert in that area. Exactly. That is how you gain experience. You know, um, working with sellers, buyers, investors, either in houses or condos or or you know in the south or in the north or in the east or the west. That's how you gain experience, yes. Now, I've also noticed that there is very few people that come across Juan or get the opportunity or the privilege of working with Juan and they don't, uh, and they don't immediately are 
impressed by uh, by your skill set of you, you know of, of your communication skills. So tell us about tell tell us about your communication skills. What do you do that you are constantly um, uh, impressing your clients and and getting people to be really happy working with you and and uh, to want to continue to work with you? Communications. Well, you know what? I actually um, I love to be um, always communicating with them. I always, I'm, I'm constantly, you know, once I start a transaction, I'm always um, communicating, working as a team. I'm always talking to my lender, to my um, TC, to to you, trying to, to make things, you know, for everybody. And by doing that, by working as a team, that's how I can deliver, you know, being, being uh, a better real estate agent. You know, one uh, one of the one of the people, one of the mutual clients that uh, that you're working with, uh, told me that um, as soon as I got off the phone with you, um, and and you said that you would put me in touch with uh, with Juan within within minutes of our conversation, Juan gave me a call, and uh, and uh, and. Uh, Everything that I asked him, Juan uh, was able to provide to me right away. And he's always prompt in answering my questions. He's always prompt in sending me the information that I'm asking for. And uh, and uh, he's always he's always answering his phone or within within seconds, he's responding back to me. And uh, and that's what he was uh, basically giving us feedback about the fact that he's really, really happy about working with Juan. Yeah. And, you, uh, you know what they say, uh, time of is of the essence in this business. You have to be, com com you have to communicate the sooner the better, you know, um, why, why not do it right now? You know, that's, that's my mindset. I have to do it now because I can, I can let this uh, for later because you, you never know what's going to happen later. But you know what? It takes years. It takes years for, for uh, a realtor to get to that point, to understand that one of the most important things that people care about is that, uh, is that speed to be able to provide information, to be on top of the game and, and, uh, and to be in great communication and also to provide information. How did you figure that out so quickly in the business? Well, that's actually a uh, part of, um, of me. I'm always trying to communicate either in, in, in my personal life or in the business because actually that's, that, is, that is the job, you know? I always work with my phone um, and, and I love to let people know what's going on. If, if there's a that I'm with on the other side, I really want to know what's going on. You know, I really want to know if if the other person not knows what he's doing or 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 not. You mm -hmm. know, in order for me to to find that out. But yeah, that that's that's how I am. I like to be, you know, at the top of things. I I don't procrastinate. I I just do the things right away. Do things right away, which is which is why why you are one of the strongest uh, salespeople that we have, right? Even though you are, uh, you're, uh, you've only been in business for a short time. Right. Right. I, and this is not, this is right now, this, uh, this business is tough. This is a tough market to be in and to stay and remain successful uh, really takes a uh, skill and, and it takes skill and also it takes mindset let's uh let's switch and talk about the mindset so when i call you uh every time i call you what's your answer to me <laughs> that i'm better and better better and better so explain to us uh, uh explain to us what's uh what's the mindset behind better and better you know um in 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 this is it's never the same uh all the businesses that i uh, I have been in uh, they're always challenging mm -hmm. 
and you have to become a better person the next day how you have to prepare yourself you have to take courses you have to uh, t take lessons you have to go to um, meetings um, pay attention to to what your broker is saying you know get that knowledge because you're gonna need it anytime mm -hmm. so if if i do that every day if i do my um my greatness tracker if i do my affirmations if i do my meditations um i'm gonna be better and better every day every day you know if i read my books if i if i do you know um things that i that is gonna make me better it's obviously that the next day I'm going to be better and better. And if I think that I'm going to be a, a better person the next day, it's going to happen. And and this is a this is a marathon, not a sprint, right? I, I'm sorry, you kind of cut off. Uh, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Every day that you get up and you are coming to work, you have to be better and better and better. Right. Like, yeah. like Juan says, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, you know, all the time, uh, you know, the, the real estate market is constantly changing. Uh, mm -hmm. so you have to be able to, you know, follow up and, and up with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Well, Juan, thank you very much for, for joining us and, um, and, let our audience know more about you. Is there anything else that you would like to share with the audience uh, so that they uh, can get to know you better? Well, um, I want them to, you know, I always tell my clients that I am in, in, in the best brokerage in San Diego. It's a boutique brokerage that, I, that if, if I get into something that I don't know at the time, I'm always going to have the resources of finding out the answer um, because I have a great broker. I have a great uh, team and the office, the brokerage, the whole, the whole thing, the whole package is always another resource that I always is going to be a benefit to my clients. Benefit to your clients. And, and by the way, you have uh... You are bilingual, so you not only you speak English, but you can also service your clients in Spanish, which is, uh, which is invaluable, especially in the county of San Diego. Yeah, yeah, you know it's funny sometimes because I think that um, that many of the Spanish-speaking people are taking time, maybe because they know me that I was in a different business. Uh, they're taking their time about you know working with me but you know they will come they will come yes yeah. and, and you know what you have already achieved success and um uh, but trust is the hardest thing to uh to gain in this business but uh hey i know i know juan the way that i know juan and i've trained many many agents throughout the years and i know that if anyone is working with juan they're going to be very happy yeah thank you Roxanne. i really appreciate all of your expertise your knowledge your time always always being available for me um thank you very much it is my pleasure it means a lot to me, it a lot to me. thank you well thank you for giving your uh, trust and your time uh, and your energy to service uh, our customers under pemberley umbrella and audience, if you are reaching out to Juan, Juan can be reached on his number at, there it is, or if you would like to email him, there is Juan's email address. Uh, you can reach him on our website as well. And Juan is active on Instagram. So if you wanna reach out to him on Instagram, there is his Instagram handle, and he's available to service you all throughout San Diego County. He knows every area like the back of his hands and he can service you uh, all uh, over San Diego County with your buying and selling uh, needs. And uh, if you enjoyed this uh, broadcast, please uh, give us your thumbs up. If you're watching us on YouTube 
or if you have any comments on Facebook or on YouTube, we always appreciate you reaching out to us and giving us your feedback. And uh, again, at Pemberley Realty, we are a boutique office. We service our uh, buyers and sellers all throughout the San Diego County, and we always appreciate your business and your referrals. And Juan, thank you so much for joining me today and have a great evening. Thank you, Roxanne. You too as well.